Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Super Tech QC. And in this video, we're going to consider the first article inspection report, often known as the FAIR. First, let's consider what are first article inspections. Well, it is the primary method used for inspection and testing of vendor components. Also, the first article inspection should determine if the components meet engineering qualifications. These can be linear dimensions, cosmetic standards, as well as physical and electrical properties. An accurate inspection report can identify the process capabilities and the contract fulfillment between buyer and supplier. This is an example of a FAIR report in Excel. Very important that we have a, a lot of information for tracking this, like you might have your company name there, uh, reason for the FAIR, it might be a new product, or it could be a supplier correction, supplier company name. And very important is to have the part number and rev level and make sure that these match up with the print and what's being tested. The graphs tab in the report shows the deviation from print and the process capability or CPK graphs. These tell the story of the linear dimensions. In the linear dimensions, we have the upper specification limit, which is 0.015, and the lower specification limit, which is minus 0.15. And these are the measurements, one through six, that were measured. And for each one of these lines, we have samples one through seven. So this is where the measurements fall in between the uh, tolerance levels. This one right here was kind of close to the lower specification limit. And as you notice, it has a CPK of 0.98. And the industry standard, which everybody likes to go by, is 1.33. And at the other end of the spectrum, we have 0.70 because these are kind of close to the upper specification limit. And if you look at this right here, oh, that one's just awesome right there. It's close to zero, the target is. And we'll go into a little bit about how we get these numbers. This is my calculations tab in the FAIR report. And a lot of times I'll hide it because a lot of times people will just open this up and they'll, all they'll see is numbers. And it's like, I got to figure out what all this means and all this means and all that means. Well, it's uh, very simple. These right here are the measurements that I cut and pasted or got from the uh, coordinate measuring machine. These, and then I transferred them up here using references. In other words, that number is that one. And this is for sample one. And these are call outs, one, three, six samples one through seven and those are the measurements these right here are the measurements okay on this right here what i'm doing is calculating the uh, deviation from print and that sounds like a big word but actually what it's doing is it's just taking this number and subtracting the print from it and we have a target of zero in other words if the measurement and the uh, print call out are the same you'd have a you would have a uh, deviation from print of zero. But in this case, you take that number and subtract that number and 0 0.004. That's really close right there. And so our target is zero. And this is a lot easier to graph out. And also the CPK numbers are right here. These are calculated from uh, all these measurements and uh, these extra calculations right here, like the mean, standard deviation, and whatnot. So usually I hide this tab because really what's most important are the graphs and the individual measurements. But I get a lot of information from these calculations that I use in the presentation. And so what these numbers generate are this graph. Like I said, we have the CPK numbers which are generated from calculations of these. And you can see that uh, that one's really good because those numbers are really close to the target right in the middle of the uh, upper and lower specification limits right there. This one's a little off. Uh, the process could be uh, tweaked a little bit. And also that one is too, a little bit 
lower CPK. And usually the uh, target index is 1.33. That's kind of an industry standard for the target. These are the individual sample reports, and these this is mainly for just printing out purposes and to show what each part does. And it's a real nice presentation if you need to hand somebody something. And some other tools that are used is the Pantone color comparison chart, the scrape tester, multimeter, tape for adhesion, uh, through their gauges, digital calipers, dial calipers, uh, micrometer and a digital height gauge, and of course the surface plate. And of course this is a CMN. It's used for uh, taking most of the measurements. We have the uh, z-axis, uh, the table where the parts are laid out. This is the y-axis movement of the table, and of course the x-axis. And the software is viewed here, and the part is uh, viewed here from the camera. So this is a very good and very useful uh, measurement tool. Uh, the uh, accuracy goes up to 10 thousandths of an inch, or you can do it in millimeters, or radians, or, or different types of functions there. Thanks for viewing the video on the FAIR process, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jmkserve at See you next video.